In this video I'm gonna share with you my typical day of the piscine at 40 to school. Often people ask me, can I combine my studies or work with the piscine? The short answer is no. At least I think it's almost impossible to do it at least if you if you want to get into the school if you want to learn as fast and as much as others actually it's you who decides you can try at least you can try because the school is open 24 7 you can come anytime you want and leave anytime you want you can work as many hours as you want but just my advice is to devote all of your time to this experience for example me i took a holiday at my work uh two four weeks of holidays um yeah some people they some people quit their jobs some people they if they are studying at the university so they doing the piscine in summer when they have uh, holidays at their universities and i think you'll understand why by watching this video why it's better to devote all of your time to this piscine okay let's go so 7 a.m in the morning i wake up um i do 15 minutes yoga i really wanted to do some sports in the morning for one hour but because of tiredness and illness i gave up this idea so 15 minutes yoga breakfast um i prepare myself and so i leave home and on my way to school it took me around 30 to 40 minutes to get to school and i tried to relax during this time i took the metro so i just i could stand or sit down and i did nothing i listened to music and tried to yeah just to relax so i came into the school there was a there were gates and so basically we needed to press our personal code and uh, swipe the the card and when the door there they, when they were opening there was a personalized uh, greetings for you like Bonjour, Anna. Bienvenue, Anna. Salut, Anna. and when you were leaving the school it was something like A bientôt. in the name Anna or I don't even remember the, all of the phrases but and I know that uh, for students they can m personalize it more by adding the music so I'm finally here at school in Paris this campus there are three floors uh, with clusters it's basically the room where we work with the computers and one floor is for students of the school and two floors are for uh, participants of the piscine and yes you can see some towels on the stairs <laughs> the thing is that during the piscine in Paris's campus you can sleep uh, at school this thing is called uh, squat if I'm not mistaken yeah yeah some people really live in the school and yeah there are showers and you can bring your air mattress and uh, yes yeah, live at school so you come into the cluster and in the morning there are a few people there and you can choose any seat you want me by the second week um, we had a kind of our band company people with whom I prefer to be close to Ribeta? Hello! Просто не будем тратить время. Привет. 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 But you can choose any available computer actually. Coming back to my typical day, so I choose a seat, I clean the desk, I clean the screen, I clean the keyboard. Actually, um, we've been asked to do it when we leave, but nobody does it so and I don't want to work in the dirty environment so I prefer to clean everything before I start working I take my seat and new day of adventures challenges and this world of coding begins I learn new materials read some stuff on the internet uh, watch tutorials watch other videos on YouTube on the topic I ask Google I ask my a neighbor from the right, I ask someone from the left, 
I ask other people, I Google again, and so so that's how I do actually exercises. That's how peer-to-peer -peer learning works. Yeah, I try to complete the tasks uh, to finish my projects. If I'm tired, if I feel being unproductive, I go, I take some breaks, I go and drink some coffee, yeah, have a lunch, uh, or just chat with someone outside. And there are, um, there are some spaces tables with chairs where you can sit, where you can eat. Send news. <laughs> Send news? Yes, yes news. Uh, it's, yeah. uh, it's a proverb uh, <laughs> for me. Ooh. Bon appétit. Bon Merci. appétit. Merci. Mm, bonne saveur de pied, là. <laughs> There are vending machines, uh, coffee machines at school, uh, microwave, there is a, um, what else, yeah, a kettle, there is a food truck. Another line after this one is not the same number. It's yeah, about coffee machines, so um, coffee is quite good, I think, it costs about 40 cents and there are different types of coffee. Sometimes the staff organizes different events and activities. Uh, during the last day, at the last day of the piscine, we had a foam party. It was so fun, so cool. We also had an event, like talking events, uh, open talks, discussions. And I remember when it was with the director of the school, Sophie Végère. Elle a été tellement choquée qu'elle a proposé à ses étudiants, elle est institutrice, de vivre la discrimination. Elle a fait un travail qui s'appelle Vieux Marron, Vieux Bleu. Je vous demande à toutes et à tous de le regarder. C'est absolument extraordinaire. Et un des effets, donc en gros... And we discussed uh, discrimination at school and in the sphere of programming uh, and the girls, women in development. Sometimes stuff they would turn on the music uh, out loud. <laughs> they would make some jokes, they would, I don't know, do anything to this <laughs> that distracts uh, anyone else who are working in front of the computers and it was fun uh, i really liked it and i remember this music mm, yeah but sometimes i had to finish earlier because of this thing because i understood that oh i cannot concentrate when everyone's talking when it's music uh, in clusters and so it's better to finish and then come back earlier. There are so many tasks, so many projects that you have to do and uh, so much information, especially if you're a newbie like me in programming. Looking in my log hours, I used to spend about 12 hours per day in front of the computer, but there are people who spend more time. Uh, I think I was kind of average person there so there are like yeah people who spend more time people who spend less time yeah it's your choice to work hard or for not working hard you can take a break you can take a day off but I don't really recommend you to take a day off because you want progress and you just waste one day not a good idea it's four weeks of intensive learning without weekends but you know it's worth it my day is over so I log out turn off my computer and come back home, I relax, drink tea, chat with my family, uh, record a short video and go to bed. So that's how is the typical day of the participant of the piscine. How was your day? If you, if you did the piscine, uh, it's very interesting. Let me know in the comment or via and or send me a personal message. It might sound crazy and even like you maybe have a question why do people decide to participate in that thing why do they want this experience but you know this four weeks 
it's uh, one month of an opportunity to change your life and learn fast and discover so many things this atmosphere this people i really don't have any regrets that i had this month and it sounds like an advertisement but it's not it really was a unique experience i have yes i recorded the videos day by day so if you're interested yeah i have a whole playlist of each day of the scene it was hard and i think it's not for everyone uh, but all of that I did, it was worth it. And here are some daily routine things, uh, videos that I recorded. Um, yeah, there is one thing I regret, that I took my camera only the last week of the piscine that I decided to keep the souvenirs. Anyway, here they are. В общем, магия просто как зарабатывать баллы. Можно просто менять код странички. У меня получилось минус 42. Но success. See success. Success minus 42. Again, can you show? Can you just change like failure the color? Hello. Ça va? Tu veux des souvenirs Oui. Ça va Non, merci. Moi, gâteau, c'est pour souvenir, c'est pour souvenir. Vilena, покажи segmentation fold. Now we do. Our group. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful and interesting for you. Good luck with your piscine and see you in the next video. Bye! Bisous!